that looks great. So what you just saw was practical effects because you know, we gotta make it look like he's wet. By the way, this is the Gotham Project right here. He's got his amazing Drifter cosplay and we're gonna do a photo shoot. Loki kind of inspired by the Walking Dead season... Season six promo, six yeah. Six promos. Yeah. Um, and so we're gonna give that type of look, but the Drifter, if you've seen the Batman, if you haven't, there's an issue with you, you need to watch the Batman. <laughs> Basically, the Drifter is always seen walking at night drenched in rain and slow-mo and stuff like that and since we're doing an indoor shoot because the weather is temperamental because we live in sydney we're doing this <laughs> so basically just wet him down with the hose it's gonna look nice light's gonna reflect right off all those little wet spots it's gonna look great Sweet. I'm actually hit very happy with that. That's looking nice. Yeah, wow. You're looking a bit too dry. Oh, oh yes, yeah. Time for a drenching. Get the fucking <laughs> <laughs> yeah. okay, I'm Stand in the rain. That, that gives it more texture now. Oh yeah, 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 for yeah sure. More. Maybe add a bit more there, yep, just because sure. it's a bit... Sorry, Sarah. That's all right. <laughs> I need to run a few there. <laughs> yeah, nice. That's okay? Yeah. I think we're... A little bit there? Yeah. It's gonna say, just... What if you just went like... I really hope I'm not like, unpotting a plant. No. I've got parents or something, no, they're, they're no, trying no, to grow it. No, that's not at my all. little cousin. Whenever she comes over, they she just plays. plays oh, okay, the okay. So it's the yeah. play. Yeah. <laughs> so that already looks yep. good, and then Sarah added the smoke. Oh! <laughs> yeah, the smoke game changer. <laughs> Look at that. That's the last of us yeah. with Batman. Yeah. That's oh, so that's so good. Yeah. So at the end of it, we were very happy with the photos, the the smoke, the spray, everything, his performance, the especially the cosplay, it all just came together, it looked so good. We ended up putting the Zion light at the back, which is what you can see. So a little tip, if you're trying to do things with water elements or smoke, so rain and stuff like that, and it's not coming out for you, you have to light it from the back. You need the light to catch into the rain and into the fog, that's what will actually make it come out. So if you're trying to do stuff like that and it's not working, just make sure there's a light coming from behind to illuminate it. We put it off to the side because we didn't want to silhouette him and have like an outline on him. So that's why we just put it to the side, but still behind him. So it would catch on the fog and the rain. But it turned out so well, we all loved it. But then we moved on to the reels. We did something similar with Cosplay Chris, which we had him just walk to the camera, which was really nice. And the way we achieved this sort of look is, so the whole shoot, I was shooting with the Sam Young 85 F1.4. Follow the principles of the cinema cinematographer of the Batman which is Greg Frazier which is to embrace a lens's imperfections and specifically a lens like the 85 Samyang is a fantastic lens but if you get all minute and into details yeah the corner is not the sharpest this and that yeah that's what we're actually using that's what we're using to enhance this effect the imperfections of it so we know we know everything is not exactly the crispiest it's not the best lens out there 
but that's what added to this effect. What I did is I locked manual focus to where he was going to stop. I taped it out for him and then going to take a few steps back closer to the backdrop, walk towards it. So 120 FPS, 1080p, and these were the results. So the way we did the grade specifically for the reels is we follow a tutorial from Film Riot mostly to get the foundation, uh, but just as a quick run through correction. So we always shoot overexposed for Sony S-Log. So we brought it down. Then what we did is a CST transform to turn S-Log to Cineon Log. We did that. We then did a bleach bypass effect, which is from the tutorial from Film Riot. With the saturation compensation, we just brought out a bit more of the color in the, in the hat and the skin tones. We then did a color warper effect as well as a color grade node, which is just putting a bit of blues in the shadows, a bit more warmth into the midtones and highlight. But the piece de resistance is using Dehancer. So Dehancer, if you haven't heard about them, is a fantastic resource that basically allows you to emulate film. Now, if you look into the Batman and how they did it, they show an Alexis, so digitally, they then printed it to film, put it back into the computer, did some more changes, things like that. But they basically did the process of film. And actually what the colorist said of the Batman, because they still had digital digital files, the film process didn't work for certain shots. So what they did is they did a film emulation, which is what Dehancer is. So Dehancer is a way to get the closest look to things like the Batman or anything shot on film that even the professionals that they had the option of film processing, sometimes it just doesn't work for certain shots. So with this, it gives you a flexibility of choosing any film stock, any amount of grain, and it's not like an overlay. I added noise, I added color density, a vignette, as well as bloom and a little bit of halation. That's making the highlights have that soft appearance, kind of like a Promis filter. And the halation, which is just on the outlines, it just makes it a little bit fringed. If you'd like to get Dehance on Premiere, DaVinci, Photoshop, Lightroom, even on mobile, use code LUX for 10% off. And if you decide not to and then you ever come back and you say, ah oh, yeah, I want to give it a go, use code LUX, 10% off forever, whenever you want, 10% off any of your purchases with Dehancer. They're not paying us to say any of this. We genuinely love the product and it's what allowed us to get the true film look without obviously printing it out and doing all the stuff that they did. If you wanna see more of the photos, make sure you follow us on Instagram. Make sure you give him a follow on Instagram for his incredible cosplay, The Gotham Project and Lux Media. We'll see you next time. Thanks for checking out this video.